extremely short and beaten nails, spreading cuticles, many hangnails, fresh cuts on the cuticles and around them. This is going to be a tough one. And if you're wondering, is this actually possible to do a cuticle care and extensions on these nails, then keep watching and I will show you how. Hello guys, Anastasia here, and today we have a very challenging task we need to transform these nails. So first let's take a closer look and you will notice that most nails are really wide while the nail bed is really short. So on one hand there are also plenty of fresh wounds. So this girl she was playing guitar, so this is where she got them from. And on the other hand she does not have them which makes it a bit easier to work with. So first I started pushing back the cuticle with the orange wood stick like I normally do, but it didn't really work with this cuticle, so I had to switch to metallic pusher, which is not working great as well, but at least it's working somehow. I mean, the cuticle is pushing. The main concern for me was these wounds that she has around the cuticles because I really did not want to hurt them or, you know, just to cause more bleeding. So I was super careful and gentle and at the same time I need to push them back because this is the only way to prep the nail plate properly for the extensions. So I pushed them just a little bit and then I started working with this ceramic pink bead and originally this bead it was with a sharp edge but I filed it down with a hand file so basically this is a handmade drill bit and then I started filing the cuticle and finally it started to push up and it was pretty easy to clean it from the nail plate so it's pretty soft the speed is around 15,000 rotations per minute and finally we can see how the nail plate is getting cleaner and free of cuticles When I first saw these cuticles, I was like, all right, at least there's a lot to work on. I actually like when there's, you know, something to clean, but it wasn't that simple. The client turned out to be pretty sensitive and many times she said that it hurts, that she feels some burning, so I had to be super careful and gentle. So now I'm switching to the other side and by the way, this is the left hand which is a bit easier because cuticle is spreading here along the nail plate as well, but at least it is not bleeding. And by the way, if you would like to learn more about the cuticle types and how to work with them using e-file, I have an online course and I will leave the link down below so you can learn more about it and enroll. And right now, if you enroll, you can start immediately right after payment. Even though this ceramic pink bead is medium fine and it's very soft, it's still possible to overfile the nail plate or the skin, so you need to keep in mind that the speed should be around 15,000 rotations per minute and you're not supposed to press too much. Next step will be nail prep and I will be using this single-use abrasive. Let me guys know in the comments if you use a similar one. So this is how it works. You simply separate this abrasive. This is 240 grit and then you stick it to one side. I really prefer this half moon shape 
and once you see that it's sticking to it and everything is good then you can separate it from the paper and stick the remaining part and now we have a new file and you do not have to worry about sanitation or anything because this is a single use one and i also really like the color you know these black files they always leave this black dust or residue after you are done simply separate it and throw this abrasive away and then you can disinfect this metallic part and that's it on left hand there is even a free edge on some nails so we need to file it short and then we need to take off the surface shine and i decided to use this file instead of 180 which i normally use because these nails they're pretty thin and we need to protect them i really do not want to overfile them even more so when you clean the dust check if you have some shiny spots remaining if you do then you just keep working after that i'm going to trim the cuticles and normally on this type of skin it would be great to do that with e-file but since we have some cuts and wounds on the cuticles it is definitely to, better to use any kind of implement so i will be using scissors so once again i'm super careful here because we have a sensitive client and by the way we ended up not cutting or hurting her at all Normally at this point I finish cuticle care and proceed to extensions but then I was like wait there is actually more skin to clean and I cannot just leave it like that. So I took a flame bit and started cleaning and there was much more skin to clean so I just kept going. When I was working close to these cuticle cuts, I felt like, I don't know, I'm walking on the edge. And also the client was reminding me a lot when it hurts or not, which is actually is a good thing, right? Because sometimes there are clients that do not really feel anything and sometimes you may just not notice if you accidentally cut them. So maybe it is actually a good thing. So I'm trimming the cuticles on this hand and just doing it in a very small, careful steps, little by little, and definitely avoiding uh, these parts when the skin is cut and looks like it worked. After that I used a buffing bead and normally this one is used for buffing the nail plate but it also works great for buffing the skin because here we had many hangnails and it works pretty good to clean them and I'm not going to clean it really like deep and all the way because we have extensions ahead and filing so it is better to finish it up when we will be finished with everything and this is how it looks after cuticle care and on the other hand, I used uh, the diamond bead because here we do not have cuticle cuts and it was a bit easier and I could easily clean all the hangnails with this one. By the way, I know that, you know, there is an approach that you're not supposed to do nail extensions, that any nails can be turned into beautiful nails if you just do a gel overlay or dip but i personally think that if a client has a nails like that if you will simply apply a nail polish or a gel polish it will be short nails with color on them i mean the actual way to transform them is only to do extensions let me guys know if you agree in the comments so then i applied dehydrator and non-acid primer and this time i will be using entity cool pink acrylic and i'm going to do a free edge we could fit the form right away but the problem is that these nails they are a little bit ski jump I think that one of the best shapes to transform these nails is almond and another one will be coffin. Uh, so when you're doing an almond shape, and it's the same for coffin by the way too, you need to fit the form a little bit downwards. So if you want to do that, we need to fix this free edge and create it like it is straight. 
at least not ski jump otherwise it will not be possible and these nails will look like they're you know taking off like an airplane so what i'm doing now i'm creating the free edge without using a form or a tip which is so easy if you're using acrylic because you do not need an LED lamp to cure it. And after that, I fit the form and continue working like I would normally do. And now you can probably see this gap between the free edge that we just created and the form. And the reason for that is that I fit the form a little bit downwards since I would like to create an almond shape and I would add a little bit more than usual to the apex area. When this client sent me a picture of her nails, originally I was thinking of creating a very short extensions without using a form, um, because I already did this kind of transformation on short beaten nails and it worked pretty well. But sometimes with some nails, if they're very wide and if they're like extremely short, um, it's just not possible. You really have to add length and that's the only way to transform them. So when I created this first part of the nail before fitting the form, uh, she looked on them and was like really disappointed, like, is that it? I really would like to make them longer and yes, I totally get it. I mean, their look didn't really change much. With some short beaten nails, all you have to do is simply to extend the missing part of the nail bed and then you will have the illusion like there is a beautiful long nail bed and that's it, that will be enough. But unfortunately, it will not work like that here since you can see where the finger is ending and it will not really be helpful. So the only way is to create a different shape. After application, I slightly pinch the nail and this is the new beautiful almond that we have. I think the finger and the hand already looks different. And this is the other hand. I'm cleaning the nail beds again with the hydrator since it's been a while. I think it took me about 10, 40 minutes to do extensions on the other hand. So when you know that it's been that long, you need to dehydrate them again. I also applied the non-acid primer and picked the shortest nail out of them all for you guys so you can see all this process from the beginning to the end once again. So now I'm doing this free edge and now you can see that actually I'm working on air because sometimes what you do is you apply the product on the client's skin and this is how you create this new free edge but here we don't really have one. So I'm working on air. And another thing, I'm pushing the product a little bit downwards, not too much. We do not want to make it go under the nail, but I'm just pushing it so the nail will kind of look straight. From this moment, we are working on a regular almond shape extensions and creating the free edge like we would normally would. So keep in mind the center and also the shape because you probably notice that these nails, they're a little bit different. Some of them are really white, some of them are not like that, but we want all of them to match. So that's why it's important to create a similar shape and similar curve of the free edge when you're doing almond shape. All right, take off the form, pinch the nail, and here we go. Now we have beautiful, natural looking extensions. And now what we need to do is to file them. And I will be definitely using a file for cuticle areas because you know how hard it was working around the cuticles. And also for any kind of beaten nails, I do recommend to do that because 
as you can see all the side walls all the lateral walls they are pretty deep and if you will be using hand file it will be so hard to reach these areas while with e-file you can do that easily so i am using a carbide bead with green abrasive mark since this is acrylic for gel i would probably use a blue one and then I'm going to file and shape them with the same file. Well, this one is actually 180 grit. With almond shape, you want to make sure that all length and shape is matching on all nails and none of them look too wide or too narrow. And another important tip for this kind of nails, I recommend you to leave a tiny margin along the cuticle and the side walls. I mean, you have to do that in any way when working with any type of nails but with this one you can leave this margin even bigger just to be sure that the product will not be touching the skin at all it might be really helpful because with this type of nail sometimes you just may not notice if you didn't clean the cuticle all the way and then hello product lifting and nails falling off within a few days I'm weak under your grasp and my heart it won't last No, my heart won't last I started taking me into After filing and shaping, I also buffed the nails. I just love this smooth buffed look of the nails and also I really love to buff the cuticle areas so they will be super smooth and also I will buff the cuticles with the buffing bead. You guys, we did that! I mean, we did extensions on these nails and they definitely look so different right now. So let's cover them with the top coat. Unfortunately, the client didn't have any extra time. I really had some ideas for the nail art, but that's fine. So this is what we had at the beginning and this is what we have now. Beautiful almond-shaped nails. And let's take a look on the transformation of the other hand. Short beaten nails transformed into beautiful and elegant. Let me guys know what do you think in the comments and do you have a clients with the similar nails? Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and transformations every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!